Well, good morning, folks. Well, here's what we bought today. This is the second one of these we bought. They're pretty, uh, pretty stout. Bale feeders. But, anyways, they're, they're getting inspected here by the inspectors. We're changing the spot where we're dropping the bale as well on this side. The, uh, we just moved it up. It's a little less grade. And, uh, I got one small tree that was blown over on that far side that's, uh, holding up that corner. Anyways, I gotta bring the chainsaw in today anyways, because we're doing some fencing work. Putting up that, uh, farm fencing. So, anyways... We'll uh, cut that off when I get over, and I'm going to probably cut that small one right behind that steer right there. Just to give him a little more room. But, anyways, here's where the uh, windbreak is. It's just up from there. Still a nice morning sun. There's Miss K. There's Kong Boy right there. And the rest of the crew. They're looking good. For those who are selling at the auction marts and without any uh, critters, man, the prices are looking good. Over three dollars for uh, like three ten was the high. Hello, Kong, <laughs> you big mook. Hello, Kong. Over uh, three ten was the high for uh, six hundred weights. Anyways, we'll bring you back as we're going along with this fencing project. All right, guys. Well, good Friday afternoon, everyone. All right, what are we up to next? We're installing that farm fencing, or attempting to install the farm fencing. So we're, our first spot is gonna be to connect it right there at that corner post. We've got it rigged up on the quad. We got it rigged up on this stand so I can pull it straight back. I'm gonna come over to this tree see the pink stakes and it's gonna fall along that trail right up along there anyways we're gonna see how it goes and uh, yeah try and get as much as we can done before we have to head to town to uh, pick up my truck it's in for a repair anyways that's what we're up to right now a little more like uh, like we say we're Picking away at getting ready for calving season. This will just keep the girls in and keep hopefully the coyotes out and go from there. We're also, once we install it and wire it up to key post that's right there as we go along, we're going to eventually run one hot wire across the top. Anyways, just as a turn for mamas. Anyways, we'll bring you back as we get further along. Well, we're on our way. We've got it at the far end coming up, but I'm not happy with the tightness. I gotta figure something out. This ain't so bad. You know, that ain't so bad. It's at roughly the way it should be. And it's hard to see it, but it's right there. That's the top. And right there is the bottom. And Anyways, there's what's left of one roll, right? 330 feet in a roll. Um, we gotta figure out a way to tighten it more back that way, back towards that uh, water tank, get her tight. Um, I'm probably gonna drop another between that tree and the T-post that is right there. I'm gonna drop another T-post right here give it some strength and then I'll figure out how I'm gonna tighten up back there because it is not I'm not happy not happy at all they'll just push that over but there's gonna be another T post back there a couple actually there's gonna be two more T posts back that direction now the next step is where it's gonna get a little tricky because I gotta go across Posts along the way. There, there. Another one over on the other side a little bit. And if I got to, I'll put more. But that's where we're headed. And then we'll go 
down alongside that little windbreak and then it'll eventually connect right around there. So I got some good trees over there that'll help along that way, but there's gonna be some tepos going in the ground, that's for sure. And that really sucks. Anyways, I'd love to have one of those pneumatic tepos powders. But anyway, whatever. Well, folks, it's another day, and another day of fencing. So, we want to have a gate on this end, on the lane. So, we took this nine foot, nine foot panel, and we put uh, fencing on it. To basically make a mesh, mesh fence, or a mesh panel. And then we, Put our fence across here so that covers the lane which goes down to the end and then we will connect here at this T post and it'll go across and there'll be a hot wire go across to that white you can see right there the white loop and it'll go behind the windbreak and it will go all the way along the fence, the top of the fence. It'll go all the way around. So, there's the fence over there. We did, yesterday, we uh, didn't like how there was a pile of brush over at that spot. So I just brought the tractor over, pushed her through, and uh, do now is we're going to put a t-post right in the middle right here for extra strength and we're going to follow all the way along and anywhere is where we think there's too big of a wide gap and it may need a little extra tightness we're going to uh, drive another t-post in the ground and uh, yeah wire up until we get all the way over to that end and then we're going to use another nine foot panel over there to have a second gate. That way we got one on each end if the calf got through for some reason or mama knocked the fence down, whatever. You know what's going to happen because right where they're standing, right there, that fence was fairly tight up on that T-post and on that windbreak. And the SOBs pushed it down last night. So there's going to be probably at least four extra T-posts over there that I can secure that area. Anyways, we'll talk to you in a bit.
Yo, folks. All right, I'm on a mission. We call our calves the littles, if you haven't noticed. If you're following our channel at all. So anyways, we were just giving them some nice clean sheets. And happened to notice that the little bastards haven't been around for a little bit. We're like, okay, what are they up to? They are teenagers and all. God only knows what they're getting into. So, now that we got the bedding done for the mamas, and I noticed today that a few of them are starting to get some bags on them, so that's good. Good to see. And we're coming down through here. There's one little shithead right in there. Hi, see you. I see you, mister. My concern was that you can see there's a, I'll zoom in here, but there's a gate right there. And then there's a shitty barbed wire fence that runs right along that area. So anyways, my concern was that they got on the other side of it, couldn't get back. Some dummies, but there's one of my boys. Hello, handsome. How are you? There's some more. Skids, where's Miss K? <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of dust from my hay, my straw there, boys. Where's the boss girl? Where's Miss K at? Hello, Moon's baby. This one here was the calf to our gal Moon. This guy here, he's a handsome dancing, this guy. See, see this shitty old fence? I gotta do one of two things here this year. Either I'm gonna rip this piece of shit out and leave it out or I'm gonna just come in here and redo it in the past my hello bubs hello Bubba. oh it's my Kong let me zoom back out here it's Kong boy there's Kong boy that was our bottle baby he's a handsome little man and this boy man he's got some height to him these Sim Angus boys let me tell you look at him He's a fine looking animal. Aren't you, Bobby? Huh? Aren't you, Bob? Anyways, as I was saying, I'd like to take the remainder of these poplars out of here. I don't know, there's maybe a handful of real big ones, and then it goes right down into here. And maybe make that into my hay yard. And store my hay in here instead of over across the way there in my smaller hay field put it in here maybe get a hoe in and level it off a little bit and uh yeah i think it would be a much better place but it sh it'll sure need a heck of a lot better fencing maybe some of that farm fencing i'm putting up would work here i think it would actually that with a maybe a strand of barbed wire across the top or electric Whichever. Anyways, I don't see my Miss K, who's the leader of the pack here, unless she was on the other side of a tree when I come through. Look at him. Huh. He's a handsome boy. All the boys are actually getting some decent size starting now. So that's good. Right? Right, Bubba? Right, Bubba? Good boy. Good boy. Little boy. Little boy. Well, let's go up here for a wander and see if we can find Miss K. Boys, where's your sister at? Huh? Where's Miss K at, boys? Kong? You're never too far away from Miss K. Hi, baby. Hi, Bubba. Hi, Bubbles. That was Kong boy. Where's K at, Kong? 
I'm gonna be walking all through this shit forever. Oh, young man. This guy's mom, 8G. Wicked. He's a wicked mama. Ain't she? She's awesome. Wicked isn't good. All right, boys, let's go find your sister. Come on, boys. Where's your sister at? Nice piece of woods here, but I'd sure like to open it up so I can get more light to the ground so we can have good grass up here. I think they just want to see my fat butt walk. I bet you any money I see Miss K up there at the new hay surround, hay feeder. The intent was to move her today move Herbie our bull in here with the steers. I know lots of you are saying he should have been moved long ago, but anyways. Move him in here. Get Miss K over with the mamas. Here's the new hay feeder that we did. I was looking for you, lady. Hello, you foxy girl. What you doing? Hi. Hi, baby. How's the girl, huh? How are you? How's the K girl? She has an awesome mom. I see her mom starting to bag up a bit too. Anyways, that's the new hay feeder there. This summer, what I'm going to do is going to pull this one. I have two of these. And I want to... Uh, Give it a good pressure wash along the bottom ring and maybe paint it Ruts, just to protect it from the corrosion so quick, you know. Give it a little bit of an extra lifespan. Anyways, there's, there's the little shitigans going. All right, guys. Well, between yesterday and today, probably enough of a video, but... Something that I mentioned to you is we got the farm fencing from there all the way across. I doubt it'll zoom in that good. You can see it. It's sorry for the finger there. Hey, focus on the finger. Anyways, it's right there. And it goes right over to there. Sorry for the blurriness. But anyways, what I did, because there's such a gap between that last hay feeder and right where that white-faced mum is, I took, a, uh, took some barbed wire and I attached it to a tree and then I attached it again to the tree that's right there and I cranked the living crap out of it and I had it behind my T-post just to support them in case they were pushing on it. And then I also uh, attached the top of the farm fencing up to that so that it would support it in the upright in case they try to push down on it. And yeah, so it seems to be pretty damn firm. I would like to just, and it shouldn't happen, but that's just me being me and trying to think like a cow. I would like to go along the very bottom, bottom along that stretch and maybe knock a tree down and lay it in there. And just that way, if they go to push underneath there, it just gives it some weight. But other than that, we've got to try. I doubt it's going to happen today because my sister's having a dinner at her house and I guess I'm obligated to be there or I'll get in shit. Because tomorrow's driving day back to work and up north. But uh, the plan was to uh, get these kids through the Aeroquip. Get them treated up with, uh, with some Ivermec. See, they're getting a little itchy. And plus they would use it to separate K and put Herbie over. Herbie the bull. Anyways, guys, it's starting to snow. I'm going to get my butt out of here. Share the video if you would, please. 
greatly appreciate the support. I see we've gotten a few, probably about six new subscribers in the last week or so. Greatly appreciate. Thank you for joining our adventure. Um, yeah, give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know if you don't like it. I got no problem with that. You want to tell me my content's crap? Go right ahead. I got no issue with it. I'm a, a fairly rugged lad. I, uh, things like that don't bother me. But I would appreciate if you do like it to give me a comment and say, hey, like what you're doing and best of luck or whatever in your adventure. And uh, yeah, share it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button, folks. Have a great family day weekend here in Alberta, if you're in Alberta. Other than that, have a great Sunday. Don't forget to live free. Stay safe out there. From SNC Livestock in Clearwater County, Alberta, Canada. This seems a little tight. How come? I guess it's on the all right out. One up in here. Is it? I don't think it is. I'm probably in his line of fire there. <laughs> Come on, big boy. It, it looks like it's squeezed at the bottom. <clears throat> Okay, go run the gate. Okay. Well, happy family day, everyone. We got some snow last night. Well, we got it. How typical. My wife and I put new clean sheets down for the kids. Put all nice new fresh straw. Over there for the mamas. Did the shack right there where Curly's standing. And some right here by the silver shack. Did the little building up for the littles. And yeah, I'd say we got... Oh, since yesterday we've gotten probably about four or five inches, I guess. Anyways, here's the girls. So yesterday, as we were talking, we were moving Miss K, Herbie, around, because we had to get the Herbie out of with the mamas, because they're due, their due dates to start uh, March 3rd for us for calving. Anyways. And of course, like I was saying, after we put down the nice clean sheets, it started snowing. Good morning, Curly. There's Curly. Looks like they had a nice night in the shack. Out of the weather. So, we got Herbie moved over. And, good morning, Curly. How's your Monday morning, darling? Huh? And Kay's over here with her mom. Her mom's in this side. Huh? Actually, there's Kay right there, standing right there. So last night we had gone out to dinner to my sister's house. And when we come home and we were just taking a little look through, Miss Kay was getting her bath by Mama. Mama was cleaning her up. But there's hope. Poor old Hope. These mamas sometimes can be bullies. And it's like her mama is curly. And it's like they uh, they pushed her away. Hi Hope. Hello girl. Anyways, the big man's over in here now. So there's 
the mamas on their straw pack. And here's big Herb, Wayne Herbert. I did ivermec him yesterday before I released him with the with the boys. Good morning, Kong. There's Kong, our baby, right there. There's Kong boy. There's Wayne Herbert with the bright green tag. And his little band of boys. Bachelor pad over there now. He's Gamma. What kind of fart was that? Oh, Gammy girl. Huh? I call her Gamma. We also uh, hooked the Energizer up last night when we got back. That's it right there. Because we're running one strand of hot wire. Right across the top. And that goes across the entire yard to that far side. Boy, she was pulling some juice last night, let me tell you. 13.6 kV. And that solar one. That there is really jamming her. Let's see if I can scroll in on Gamma's. Look, well, Gamma's starting to get a bag on her. There she is right there, huh? And, huh? Who's that with the big bag coming up? Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. We're cooking with gas. That's Mermy. That's Merma girl. And there's Pretty right there. Good morning, Pretty. Good morning, Pretty. Oh, geez. Anyways. Just thought I'd let you know, uh, give you that update that we did get them moved. Everything went well. Went pretty quick. We used the arrow clip. And uh, it made things really simple to shift things around. Anyways, folks, sucks to have to drive in the snow. I'm hoping when I get over towards Edmonton, when I'm heading north, that things uh, clean up a little bit. But uh, anyways, how's your bag there, old curl girl? A little bit of one coming, though. Got truck warming up. I'm gonna head north. And uh, yeah, off we go. Back to work. Back to make some money for the farm. Back to pay Curly's feed bill. Huh, Bubbles? You got my Curly girl, yeah. I like my Curly. That's Hope's mama right there. Yeah, gorgeous girl. Anyways, folks, we'll talk to you real soon. Take care.